Now, before we get into all the koof business, we got to take a moment to address something that has just come up this morning, an unfortunate announcement from the DeSantis family that Casey DeSantis, the wife of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, is and has been diagnosed with breast cancer, an actual legitimate deadly disease. I hope that this is early detection and that is easily treatable because everybody knows of the horrors of cancer and hopefully this can be dealt with swiftly and effectively and godspeed to the entire family nobody deserves that fate i know quite the tonal shift but yeah, you know, the federal agencies okay the feds are saying that the feds can do something right oh, okay cool vaccine mandate in federal workers can be enforced next month they still don't know how it's going to be applied in regards to osha regulations but hey no the feds say that the feds can do this because the feds have verification from other fed agencies oh sweet federal office of personnel management okay uh said president joe biden's vaccine mandate announced uh, last month for federal workers can be enforced in november giving employees about a month to get the ccp vi a virus a vaccine in a memo released by director kieran Aju. oh my on october 1st uh, the opm advised federal workers that they shouldn't wait get now or yeah, act now using old fucking hack sales techniques interesting <laughs> To get vaccinated because other events often interfere even well laid plans it sounds like a threat employees who refuse to get vaccinated or provide proof of vaccination are subject to disciplinary measures up to and including removal or termination from a federal service as you said the only exception is for individuals who receive a legally required exemption pursuant to established agency processes yeah but what about congress and people who work in the white house are they still immune from this vaccine mandate yeah oh, okay cool uh the guidance uh, from biden's executive order he wrote states that the federal employees need to be fully vaccinated by uh, november 8th uh, with any of the three vaccines oh okay cool and then it breaks down and it's like yeah for pfizer and moderna i guess you need the two jabs and then for johnson and johnson if you want to be one of those special individuals out there and you're non-conformist but you still want to line up to get the poke and you just want to get the one shot you just need to get it by november 8th so that you're fully vaccinated by november 22nd i guess i don't fucking care but hey uh, stand your ground if you don't want to get it don't fucking get it and don't be forced to get it and in fact i think that there's going to be a new chant breaking out in the white house in in regards to this in fact it's it, it might sound a little bit weird okay um but there was a there was a man who won his very first career race in nascar at talladega super speedway over the weekend and um you know what his his fans were really riled up and one of the interviewers from nbc news uh, thought that she heard let's go brandon because the the driver in question was brandon brown and i think that um you're gonna be here a lot you're hearing a lot of let's go brandon chance whenever you see joe biden make an appearance i just have a sneaking suspicion okay and we got another video to play for you i know we've been playing a lot of videos lately but this one here i just want you guys is your own interpretation on this okay listen okay you got brandon here uh, nice nice kid you know what i think he he can probably hear the chance of let's go brandon himself so it's such an unbelievable moment brandon you also told me as you can hear the chance from the the crowd let's go brandon brandon you let, told me you were gonna come let's go brandon to indeed right yeah mm -hmm. you did your job you did your job very well sweetheart fuck joe biden let's go brandon let's go brandon indeed and another reason i just absolutely love this uh really classic individual chance up yes i know he's he's from coastal carolina university and um they're called the chanceliers yes yes that's the name of their sports team okay i understand but it was also like ground zero for the original let's go brandon chance uh, the uh the interpreted version of it so i'm throwing up the uh throwing up the gang signs you love it anywho we're gonna talk about this fact check that was uh, you know it just pinned on the fucking trending tab of just about every social media platform that you could find for a while oh did you know uh, the vaccine is far more effective at uh, staving off future infections than natural immunity oh really cool shots give covid19 survivors yes all 99.5 fucking percent of them a big immune boost the studies show oh my god 
even people who have recovered from COVID-19 are urged, <laughs> urged is a funny way of spelling forced, uh, to get vaccinated, especially as the extra contagious, sure, uh, Delta variant surges. Again, they're not providing any links to anything, but whatever, you, you just go ahead. You're the AP, right? You guys have deference on this one. It's not like you spun any recent news stories at all whatsoever, right? And a new study shows survivors who ignored that advice were more than twice as likely to get reinfected. Oh my God, you should probably provide uh, answers to that. Oh my God. Friday's report from the Center of Disease Control and Prevention adds to growing laboratory evidence that people who have had one bout of COVID-19 get a dramatic boost in virus-fighting immune cells, okay? And a bonus of broader protection against new mutants, like Wolverine and Cyclops, where uh, they're vaccinated. Okay, um, so your natural immunity, and then you get more on top of... Okay, cool. How is that stopping anything, though? If you've had COVID-19 before, please still get vaccinated. You're not providing any receipts yet. All you're doing is just saying, vaccine is really good at everything. Cool. Don't look at any of the comment sections at any of the videos on the channel lately where people are, you know what, telling their horrific stories of their own. And again, I can't corroborate any of these stories, but um, feel free to share them if you want to. Uh, director, oh yes, uh, Dr. Rochelle Wolensky, getting the vaccine is the best way to protect yourself and others around you, especially as more contagious Delta variant spreads around the country. According to a new Gallup survey. <laughs> I thought she had studies or some shit. New study, Gallup poll. Cool. Uh, one of the main reasons Americans cite for not planning to get vaccinated is the belief. Is the belief, <laughs> like like previous viruses before it, I've already had it, and you don't really get you you don't really tend to get hit again with the same virus. So you know it using proper logic, but we dispense with that what, 19 months ago. God damn it. But according to the Gallup poll, yes, they believe that they have natural immunity if they've already had it before. But then again, over, you know, 40% of Democrats and 25% of Republicans and independents also think that you have a 50% chance of ending up in the fucking hospital if you catch a case of the coof. From the beginning, health authorities have urged survivors to get the broader protection vaccination promises. Do they fulfill? Fill that pr her promise, though? Don't know. While the shots aren't perfect, thanks, tips, uh, they are providing strong protection against hospitalization and death, even from the Delta mutant. That's a variant. Scientists, again, you're not getting to the studies yet. All you're doing is just giving us propaganda from the, CB er, from the CDC and weird Gallup polls. Uh, scientists say infections generally leave survivors uh, protected against a serious reinfection, at least with a similar version of the virus. Or of the virus, huh? Exactly what the vaccine is promoting to do? Oh, but don't worry. It's like if you get a paper cut and you put a bandaid on it, and then you put on another bandaid, you have far more protection. Cool. Uh, but blood tests have signaled uh, that protection drops against worrisome variants. Oh my god! Well, since you guys aren't going to provide the fucking studies in a timely fashion, I figured, why not do this myself? Vaccine antibodies decline seven months after second shot. Okay, so you get seven months of protection? All right! Antibody levels generated by two shots of the Pfizer, or the Pfizer, <laughs> that's that's what you get when you combine BioNTech and Pfizer. You get, God, if YouTube didn't have such queer rules about the vaccine, ooh, good joke there. Touching tips. A uh, vaccine can undergo up to tenfold decrease seven months following the second vaccination. Research suggests... Uh, the drop in antibody levels will compromise the body's ab ability to defend itself against COVID-19 if the individual becomes infected. In a recent bio sure study published ahead of peer review, many recipients of the vaccine displayed substantial waning of antibodies to the China virus or SARS-CoV-2, as its variants include data, or Delta, Beta, and Mu. But what about Malambda? And whatever happened to that old UK hit? Is that one going to make a resurgence? Is it going to come back into the Billboard's top 100? Who knows? Bally uh, Palunderan of Stanford University and Melher Sutra. If I can't pronounce your name and you're a doctor, you're probably doing a good job. Of Emory University told Reuters. Oh, okay, you know that um, 
horrifyingly right-wing outlet Reuters that study shows a vaccination with the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine induces high levels of neutralizing antibodies against the original vaccine strain, but those levels drop off by nearly tenfold by seven months. That's why we need boosters all the fucking time. Book your booster shot. <laughs> Oh, while the body has other defense mechanisms in place to ward off viruses, Polandrin and Suthar added that antibodies are typically important in protecting against SARS-CoV-2 infection. Uh, the study focused on 46 healthy participants. You couldn't find anybody else uh, who had received two doses of a bi er, Pfizer BioNTech vaccine. Uh, the participant's blood was tested once after receiving the second vaccination and once again after six months. Researchers suggested administering a third booster vaccination is a measure to improve vaccine efficacy. Or antibodies persist uh, for more than a year after COVID-19 infection. Oh no, but my booster jabs. The immune system of a vast majority of people who have been infected by the China virus will continue to carry antibodies against the virus for at least 12 fucking months, according to peer-reviewed study accepted. A peer-fucking-reviewed study accepted by the European Journal of Immunology. Oh, they got different variants over there. Go fuck your mother. On September 24th, scientists at the Finnish Institute for Health and Welfare studied the presence of antibodies in 1,292 subjects eight months after infection. They found that 96% of subjects still carried neutralizing antibodies and 66% still carried a type of antibody called a nucleoprotein Ig. Big G. Scientists then investigated antibody levels one year after infection that randomly selected 367 subjects from the original cohort who hadn't yet been vaccinated. 89% of the subjects still 80 fucking 9% of the subjects still carried neutralizing antibodies and 36% still carried the IgG antibody. Antibody levels were higher in students who had who had experienced severe COVID-19 disease, okay, compared to those who had a mild case. And these subjects had two to seven times as many antibodies for at least 13 months after infection at least 13 months after infection and then by that time if we're going to go ahead and use those map or use that math it depends on the efficacy of the booster what would you be on your like fourth fourth jab but there you go you, you, you're gonna get more infection duh or you're gonna get more protection duh and again um what do you have to what do you, what do you what do the experts have to say about this one singapore reports worst daily number of covid19 cases despite high vaccination right that's why there's going to be another push for lockdowns and the blue states are going to bite hard on that and canada's fucked so the whole fucking country will get locked down again so whatever uh singapore on october 1st hit its record daily number of covid19 infections since the start of the fucking pandemic 19 goddamn months ago despite vaccinating the majority of its population. Cool. The Southeast Asian city-state recorded a new high of 2,909 COVID cases on October 1st, the Ministry of Health said in a statement on October 2nd, but noted more than 98% of infected individuals had mild or no symptoms. Cool. This is what we're still worried about? Oh, look at the case totals. There's just cases are popping off all the time. Well, who's actually sick? 2% of people? Oh, okay, cool. So like what? Is it 60, 59 people are sick? Awesome. This is a result of having vaccinated the great majority of our population who experience mild illnesses, even as breakthrough infections occur. That's an awful lot of breakthrough infections. What are their numbers, by the way? More than 80% of Singapore's population has been vaccinated against the CCP virus. So what are you worried about exactly? Okay, cool. Continue to test the people who've been vaccinated and the people who have natural immunity and continue to push out whatever numbers will get you the fear clicks, right? Cool. Okay. And um, why is anybody still taking this asshole's opinion seriously? Okay. Hops on these fucking news shows saying, oh, I don't know. It's still too early to think about Christmas. You guys should probably just continue to live in the pods and eat the bugs. Fuck off. But don't worry, um, just in true Fauci fashion, he flip-flopped the day after. Fauci shifts position on Americans gathering for Christmas. Who's listening to this asshole? 
actually like a staggering amount of people are anyways um anthony fauci on october 4th shifted his position on whether americans should gather for christmas fauci a long time dictator uh said on october 3rd that he wasn't sure yet when asked if americans could get together to celebrate the winter holiday it's just too soon to tell he told cbs's face the nation as he has what like a like a weekly spot on the fucking show about 24 hours later, Fauci changed his position. No, he's not known for that. He's normally steadfast in his convictions. I said, we don't know uh, because I haven't gotten my update yet. It's a new week, okay? Please be go easy on me. I'm almost 90 fucking years old. I said we don't know yet because we've seen slopes, oh what a racist, uh, that went down and then came back up. The best way I assume that we will be in good shape is we get uh, into the winter, uh, it would be to get more and more people vaccinated. You're going to run out of people to vaccinate by the way. Uh, that was misinterpreted as me saying we can't spend Christmas with our families. Even though you said uh, it's too early to know, but whatever. If you want to go ahead and add a few more words to that in order to try to backpedal a little bit, it's not really working. I will be spending Christmas with my family like I did last year too. I encourage people, particularly with vaccinated people who are protected, to have good, normal Christmas with your family. Uh, you dirty, unvaccinated people, be happy we aren't rolling through trains yet. Just wait for the vaccine to come in an aerosol form and you can all stand in the shower shoulder to shoulder. I don't think anyone is going to be listening to Scrooge Fauci. I know I won't be, said uh, Rand Paul. Good old Senator Rand Paul, his longtime nemesis who's actually come out... I can you really call it a rivalry when the fucking beatdowns are so public and so one-sided? <laughs> oh, God bless Rand Paul. Uh, a doctor who has referred to Fauci... Uh Oh, has referred Fauci for a criminal probe because he allegedly lied about his agency funding gain-of-function research in China. Yeah, no, he did. And he did lie. And he should be charged. Should be charged with a lot more than what they're going to be asking for. Now he's going to skate on all of this. They all will. They all did for Afghanistan. And they're all going to for the fucking two years that they put us through this shit. Fauci has lost all credibility with the American people. Now we aren't waiting on his permission to celebrate Christmas together, said Representative Elise Stefniak, who has, I don't know, just rediscovered her newfound powers she's been popping up recently even though she's been relatively quiet on a bunch of other things but it's good to see her do something 11 figures who have generally urged being cautious during the pandemic signaled opposition uh, to fauci's positions not 11 just just even people as you should be so you know what hey the fact that we can even talk about christmas as being something that is just a few months away um kind of warms my heart because i love decorating for christmas and christmas fucking rules on multiple levels and we still have to talk about the coof in the context of a fucking holiday season is retarded all of this stuff could just go away as soon as they want to relinquish their power but they don't they don't because there's no repercussions to keep pushing this because they're still going to have the base that's like oh they're doing this for our health and for our safety and yes they're all just continue to get the jab it's like awesome if you want to live your life that way go for it just don't tell me how to live mine so if you are thinking about spending some time with your family over the holiday seasons may i suggest you know a nice uh, a lovely feast of your favorite holiday dishes of course uh, cozying up and uh, watching one of the f one of your favorite christmas movies of course uh, there are several there's the grinch there's national lampoon's christmas there's uh, it's a wonderful life and you go watch old jimmy stewart look and sound more coherent than the president of the united states or if you want to get around and you want to start singing christmas carols of course of course but may i recommend one that's a, a little bit of a newer addition to the repertoire in fact uh, one that would go somewhere along the lines of let's go Go, Brandon. I think that would be fitting, especially this year. With that said, I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.